Welcome to yoga. Meet me in standing. Bring your hands together at heart center. Stand tall through the crown of your head as you ground down through your feet. Firm up everything in between. And relax the muscles in your face. Find a calm, smooth breath as you focus your gaze on a non-moving object straight out ahead of you. Your practice today will challenge your balance. Balance does not mean perfect. It means that the pendulum will swing, but as you continue to practice balance, the swinging of the pendulum will not be as extreme. So be mindful in how you react to your balance on your mat. If you fall, it doesn't mean you can't balance. It just means you need to get up and try again. So let's begin with tree pose. But instead of jumping into the deepest variation of tree that you know, let's move into a more modified version of tree. So simply bend your right knee, open your right knee, placing the sole of your right foot on your left ankle with your right toes still down on the ground. Challenge your tree by bringing the sole of your right foot up to your calf. So now you are fully balancing on your left foot only with your gaze set, your breath calm, your body strong. As you experience growth, it will not be a diagonal straight line moving up. It'll be more like a yo-yo going uphill. Each time you think you might have taken two steps back is just an opportunity for you to get back on track again. So instead of thinking balance, maybe think rebalance. Notice what happens when you challenge your balance and close your eyes. Every time you fall, get right back up and shift your self-talk towards sweetness and compassion. You got this. All of this is for your growth. Open your eyes, place your right foot down and take the left side. Tree pose with your left knee bending open but take the modified version, sole of your left foot against your right ankle with your left toes still down on the ground. Set your gaze out in front of you. So let's take this a little further. Lift the sole of your left foot up to your right calf so you're completely balancing on your right foot. And if you find yourself in a position that you have fallen in time and time and time again, it is so easy to say, I can't do it, or to skip the pose altogether to save yourself the embarrassment of another fall. But to do so would rob yourself of the opportunity for growth. Each time you put yourself into an unstable position while in a safe environment, you give your body and your mind a chance to go stronger, more connected, and more secure. Find strength in your body, the fire in your core, and when you're ready, close your eyes. Your practice is exactly as it needs to be today for you to find the growth that you need today. Now open your eyes, lower your left leg down, shake it out. And let's take dancer. So reach back with your right hand to grab the inner arch of your right foot with your thumb pointing towards the back of your mat. Bring your knees back together, reach your left arm up overhead and slowly begin to tilt forward as you kick your right foot into your right hand bowing your chest open into a dancer position. 
Invite the levity with a smile. Invite the play with a chuckle. Take your time and enjoy the exploration of the pose. As you open yourself up within this safe space. Then slowly come back to center so we can switch sides and just take a moment to appreciate the work you did on the right side. And when you're ready, move into dancer on your left side. Reach your left hand back to grab the inner arch of your left foot, left thumb pointing towards the back of your mat. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling as you draw your knees back together and then take a big inhale to lengthen through your right fingertips. And as you exhale, hinge forward as you kick your left foot into your left hand. It's that kicking action, the strength of your left leg, pulling your left hand back that's going to bow you forward into this pose. Breathe, play. And if you fall down seven times, get up eight. And come back to center and shake it out. Now for eagle, reach your arms straight out in front of you and cross your right arm underneath your left. Then either bear hug, just grabbing onto your shoulders, or cross again at your wrists. Now with your feet together, ankles and knees touching, sit back into your hips as if you're moving into a chair pose. Then lift your right leg up to cross over your left. Now sit deep and hug yourself tightly. It's important after you put yourself into a vulnerable position, one that's so open like dancer pose, to then take the time to hug yourself, to tune out the world and tune into your body. So what do you feel right here, right now? For three, two, one. Stand up, unravel your arms and legs, shake it out, and we'll switch sides. When you're ready, reach your arms forward and cross your left arm underneath your right. Bear hug or double bind all the way through your wrists. Then sit back into your hips and cross your left leg above your right, finding the same leg variation that you took on the other side. Deepen your breath. Focus your gaze. Tune out. And tune in. Then release and shake it out. Bring your hands together at heart center. Ground down through your feet. Stand tall through the crown of your head. Relax your shoulders. Soften your gaze. Close your eyes. And notice what you feel. Where you feel it. This whole practice, this whole journey, is one of growth. and let growth guide you as you transform into your best self on and off your mat. Blink your eyes open. Inhale as you reach your arms up, plugging your fingers into the ceiling, then exhale to forward fold. Come all the way down, deeply bend your knees and continue to breathe as you let your spine cascade down towards your mat. Let your head hang heavy, a gentle decompression in your lower back and feel your breath travel up and down your spine. Now take your time as you meet me in child's pose. Hips to heels, 
with your knees as wide as comfortable and feel your deep breath creating space in your lower back, hips, belly, chest, and shoulders. And this is the place where the Maya is lifted. Maya in yoga is a veil that makes you feel separate from everyone and everything, but as you lift the veil and say namaste, you are saying, we are one. Namaste. Well done, yogi. Hi, Sarah Beth here from Sarah Beth Yoga. And if you like this trauma healing yoga video, did you know that I wrote a book called Trauma Alchemy? It's how you can transform your trauma, hardships, and stress into your best life through yoga. This is transformational work and you're ready for this. And I would love to be your guide. To get the book, just click the first link in the pinned comments or in the description down below. And I cannot wait to hear from you after you've gone through your trauma healing journey. Now, if you like this video, please let me know by clicking the like button down below and leave a comment as a review for the next yogi. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll always be notified when I upload a new yoga video. Thank you so much for inviting me into your practice today. I can't wait for you to get this book. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.